Fantastic. Mohammed, Spark. I'm going to go to the other one. I'm going to go to the other one. I'm going to go to the other one. But I can see him, so hopefully he will come back again. I'll ask him again. All right, after that. So Aisha Aga, Aisha was there somewhere? Yes. Iron Man. Iron Man. Oh, all of you are so excited. You are here, boy. Okay, Javeri is frozen as well. Javeri, okay, I'll come back to Mohammed and Javeri. Uh, Anas Momin. Thor. Thor. Oh, lovely. Uh, Omar Sharif. Again, Omar Sharif doesn't look like that. Okay. Rujda Ghazi. I don't see Rujda also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Humaira Qasim. Thor. Thor. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. I've got some of you on screen. It's, it's a brilliant uh, thing. I think I've only got five of the students who are there. Uh, eight are missing, but I think uh, I will get quickly. Can I get back, Mohammed and uh, Juaria? I have not heard from you. You can type it in the chat also. I can see your chat. It's just the best way. But we are recording it, so those who miss out, I will start messaging everybody. But those who miss out can always watch the recording, and I hopefully will get back to you. Right. Very quickly now, let me go and start my first teacher of Golden Sparrow, who's going to take this class of the Bright Bright Kids. Can I start with you? So, is the teacher? Is the teacher here? Right. So, all of you, I request you, so you keep yourself muted. And do you want to share the screen? You go ahead, it's yours. Uh, we, uh, all those background noise, you have to mute yourself, otherwise the teacher will not be able to hear. Hello, everybody. Uh, good. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, I will ask the teacher to unmute herself only. Let the teacher unmute herself first. Okay, can I get the teacher to speak again? I've unmuted you. I want to tell you one thing. Hello, everybody. Hi. If you are me, I would like to see your sign, please. Avenger sign, Avenger sign. Okay, I guess a thumbs up would do for me. Can you hear me now? Is the audio clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good day to all of you. And uh, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, I'm sure you all are very brilliant. So I've got a riddle for you, right? Uh, let me see who can guess this. Mother of three, Mandela Wright Curie, coolness of my eyes. Who am I? Shabana Patel. Umayma Patel? Shabana Aunty. Oh, Shabana Aunty. Brilliant. Yes, sir. For all those who know me as Abdullah's mommy, I'm Shabana Patel here. And a very warm, warm welcome to you. Uh, I'm an avid learner. I would like to tell a few things about myself. I like to learn new things. I like to go to different places. I love traveling a lot, right? And to be very honest with you, I never wanted to be a teacher, okay? I'm sure Daud sir must be wondering why she over here when she never wanted to be a teacher. Uh, for me, I always wanted to go into, uh, to be a doctor, right? I wanted to be a doctor and that also forensic science, you know, I was always very much impressed by, uh, you know, butters and thrillers and crime. But apparently I became a teacher by accident and I'm really happy 
where I am right now and I would definitely like to continue being a teacher. So I would be a felicitator for you for a few sessions to come and uh, welcome to all of you once again right uh, going ahead right when i talk about art what comes into your mind tell me when i talk about art what comes to your mind you're not clear shavan you, you can you can you can you know uh, unmute yourself and answer me when i talk about art what comes into your mind colors Colors, Ink. well done. Yeah, yeah. Okay, in right. What Drawing. else? Content. Drawing. Yes, Aisha. Drawing. Umar, Aisha, Kazi. Come on. Where's Ibrahim? Muhammad. Take them. Doodling. 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 Oh yes. Stretching. Having fun. Stretching. Stretching. Having fun. Having fun. Little contest. Right. Right. your creativity your skill and you give it a physical form right wherein people can view it people can see it they can appreciate it they get inspired by it they get motivated by it they feel good about it right so you have so many different forms of art you have singing and dancing and drama like my daughter umaima she loves drama okay i'm sure you've seen the videos all around so that all is a form of art now when i am going to use words to express my art my creativity my imagination right what is it called it's called poetry right it's called poetry poetry is nothing but you are using your imagination you're letting your skill of creativity out through words you're giving it a beautiful physical form okay now when i'm talking about poetry okay what what comes into your mind first when i talk about poetry what comes into your mind first tell me come on are you the type who wants to just Rhyme. run away poet poet rhymes well done yes what, what else do you come on ibrahim i'm expecting an answer from you you into writing right go on imagination imagination okay language okay what else does this come to your mind are you the type of people when you hear poem or a poetry and you want to just run away oh my god it's so difficult for me to understand i don't know what this is all about or are you the type of person who gets so excited poem yes i love it and you go into a different world altogether where you imagine and you make the poem come out live as if it's talking to you it's a physical form right in front of you 
So what do you think? Do you, do, when I talk about poetry, do you think about your nursery rhymes or you just think about William Shakespeare and uh, you talk about, you know, A.A. Milne? What's into your mind? Any last poem that you all remember? Poem you all remember? Which you had done last, last? You read any poem? How the leaves came down. Okay, how the leaves came down. Do you remember Where Go the Birds? Yes. By Robert Louis Stevenson? Yes. Do you all remember? Just show me a thumbs up, please. How many of you all remember? Yes? Yeah? And why do you remember that? Yes, exactly. Because it was the only reason you remember was because it was in the class grade five, right? And you had some questions and you had to be answered. You know, it's not just about questions and answers. It's about feelings. It's about emotions. It's about creativity. It's about all the imagination. It's about actually making come alive. When I see Avengers and I see the way they make things come alive and it's like, you know, it takes you to a next level, poem does that to you, right? There are so many poems out there. There's so many poetry out there. Lots and lots of them. And each one of you has one poetry for you. You know, there's a mental kind of a block that we all like stories, right? How many of us like stories? Right? I mean, we all do, right? We all do love stories. And when it comes to poem, you know, we find this mental block that poem is only for people who are very intellectual or very genius or when you grow up. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me tell you, poem is for everybody. Poem is even for you. Poem is even for Zainab. Okay, it's even for uh, Mustafa and for Umayma. It's for all the youngsters, even for you all. There's a poem out there for you. You need to read it. You need to go into it deeply to understand what poem is all about. And you know, you will find a poem definitely, which will make you so, so, so happy that you'll find a joy, irrational joy. Or maybe with that poem, you want to, you know, actually paint the ceilings of your room. Probably we should poem you should we learn poetry yes or no how many of y'all say yes and how many say no do you yes. think we should love poetry yes 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 yes, yes. or is yes. it because it's in the it's yes. because this is your session and you have to say a yes you're saying yes no. or is it because you're watching you and you have to give away answers that's why yes Go on. But do you think you should learn poetry? I yes. should. Do you think you should learn yes. poetry? Yes. 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 Okay, Hamza. Yes. Okay. Right. Why do you think we should learn poetry? Because it's fun. Oh, very good. Fantastic. Who else can tell me why should we learn poetry? Um, why? Why do you think you should learn poetry? It improves our it's a form of art, right? It's a structure of art. It expresses your thought, right? It expresses beauty and it transforms everything. Like a language as simple as English. English is such a simple language, right? And it takes English to a next level, right? When you read a poem, the way you understand a poem and the way some, your friend understands a poem is so different, right? It opens your intellect. It makes you think wider. It makes you imagine. It makes you go to a higher level. And a poem, what does it do? It captures the moment, right? You know, a picture, it might fade away, but the words will always, always you know, poem is like your senses, you know, the way you have different senses, the way you taste, the way you feel, the way you see, the way you hear, right? Poem is all that, you know, it's all rolled into one. And the main purpose of poem is to make anything that comes alive, okay? Any object, it could be, it could be trees, okay? It could be, maybe it could be just a dog, but poem is something that beautifies it. It should how do you tell it to me? Go on. Go on, tell me. What do you see now outside your window? 
everything except people okay everything except people can you be a bit more you know expressive about it a bit more creative about it see many trees a string okay. and some bars okay Full and green what kind apples. of green okay and what kind of trees do you see i see mango trees okay all over my house and when i see sky what do i see in the sky clouds birds rain okay and do you see what what can you link the sky to and the clouds you know the clouds are like marshmallows or cotton candies Hmm? How can you be, get a bit more creative? Can you get a bit more creative with the skies and the trees? The clouds sometimes are shaped like dragons. Oh, fantastic! See, that's my first poetess, Aisha. Well done. Who who would like to take go on with it? Come on, she started it. Who would like to jump on the train with her? It is Next. like some big balls of marshmallows flying oh. in the air. Fantastic, Hamza. Who next? Come on. There is no pollution. So we can go from skies to trees. Okay, Omar. Yes. There is no pollution. All right. So it's a beautiful sky to be seen, right? Yes. Who else would like to go ahead with it? Maybe move from clouds are yes, clouds are looking. I... Clouds are looking like lions. And us. Oh, fantastic! Okay, yeah. yeah. So the clouds. See, this is what it's all about. It's your imagination, and instead of using colors and putting it on a paper, you are using your words. This is what poetry is all about. Your imagination goes higher. Okay, right. Umaira, would you like to add something, Anas? All the birds are chirping. Oh, fantastic! Ro roses, roses, rose red sky is blue, but my mother is true. Oh ha! Oh, that's from Ibrahim. I'm so sure about it, right, Ibrahim? Yes. Well done. Yes. And the The trees are looking like a stick on on green marshmallows above it. Okay. Okay. So what Brilliant did you do? Okay. 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 Ok
Do you eat all that food with chopsticks? Are you supposed to eat that? But well, you I can eat with your fingers. It's all right, right? So tell me, do what? What is tahi? What type of food is that? You know, it is the raw meat. The raw beef of a pasani. Now, what do you call the? We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Can you just unmute everybody? Uh, that was so. Could you just unmute everybody, please? Could you just mute everybody, please? Okay, now tell me, right? What is the Japanese form of poetry? Does anybody know the Japanese form of poetry? You know, you have ballads, you have sonnets, you have free verses. There are so many different types of poetry. Japanese has a very different style of writing their poetry. And what is it called? Tell me. Anybody? Chinese poetry. Oh, fantastic, Aisha. I love your answer. Yeah. But it is called haiku. The Japanese style of writing poetry is called haiku. And that is what we're going to learn today. So by the end of this session, I'm sure all of you would become a poet and a poetess. All right. Uh, uh, sir, could you just mute them all, please? The okay, can you hear me now? Uh, may I have a thumbs up, please, if you can hear me? Oh, great, fantastic. Okay, so you know the Japanese, right? They have a very rich heritage, a rich culture, okay? And they are supposed to be very intelligent people, okay? And very hardworking as well. Now, these people have their own way of writing poetry. So they are not just experts in martial arts and they're just not experts in sushi and basahi and electronics and technology. They are very good in poetry also. And their poetry is known as haiku, okay? Now, why is it called haiku? Haiku actually was known as Haikai no Ku, right? See, I know to speak Japanese. Haikai no Ku, right? The meaning of which is light verse. Light verse, light, all right? And just to make it short, it is known as Haiku. Is it called light verse? And how do I write a Haiku, a Japanese poetry? It's very easy, very simple. All you have to do is remove the message block that I a poem or I cannot do that or I just can't, it's possible for me to be creative enough. You are creative, you can do it. All you have to do is just let go of your shackles. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the steps of how do I write a haiku, okay? Haiku is very simple to write, okay? It has only three lines. It has only three lines, okay? And a haiku does not need to rhyme. Okay? A haiku does not need to rhyme. So how many lines does a haiku have? Can you all just show me on the screen? How many lines? Three. three. Fantastic. And it does not need to rhyme. Okay. Now the second thing. Each line has a fixed number of syllables. Each line has a fixed number of syllables, okay? So I have a picture out here where you can see on the screen to help you understand. The first line will have five syllables. The second will have seven. And the third line will again have five. Okay? So you have five, seven, five. Right? And a haiku is always written in present tense. You don't have a haiku in past tense. Okay? So even if you've seen something happen earlier or there's some event which has been earlier, but if you're writing a haiku, you will write in present tense. Okay. So can you just unmute yourself and tell me how will you go about writing a haiku, all of you? 
right? There should be only three lines. Fantastic. Then we have to write in presentence. First, it will it will be five, then seven, then five, then again it five. Be rhyming. It should not be rhyming. I know it's that's so easy, right, Hamza? We don't need to rhyme, you know. So that that means we all can be poets because we don't have to find words which are rhyming. Only right? write in presentence. Yes, you have to write in presentence. So Umar, tell me, can you go ahead with it, right? How do you find writing haiku then? Okay, so you can write haiku either or for some object. Maybe you can write a haiku on the new shoes you bought for yourself. Okay, or maybe you can write haiku about uh, some animal or the seasons or some places. You can write haiku about your family and friends. How your younger brother or sister are annoying you, right? You can write about the events and you can write about your food. Okay, the format for haiku. I cannot hear you. Can you hear me now? I yes. Yeah. Yes. So the format I can. of haiku, haiku would be like this. Yes. Tell me. Okay. Now, now can we just see a few examples of haiku and how they are written? Okay. Yeah. We. Okay, what am I haiku? See, can you see there are just three lines in there and each line has a fixed number of syllables, five, seven and five. Okay, can Umar read the first haiku, please? Umar, could you just read the first? Uh, can you unmute yourself? Yeah, go on. Green and speckless lips, hop on log and fly lily pad, splash in cool water. Well done, Omar. How can you tell me what what are we talking about? I what is green and has speckled legs, hops on hops on logs and lily pads, and it splashes in cool water. So, um, Frogs, fantastic. So you can have a riddle kind of a haiku, right? A riddle yes. kind of haiku. Okay, now can I have Ibrahim reading the second haiku, please? In a pouch, I grow on a southern continent. Strange creatures I know. Fantastic. Kangaroo. 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 Right? So you can also create a haiku like a riddle form wherein you're asking, right? And let the people get the answers. Okay, we take the other examples now. Okay, Humaira, can you read season haikus? The first one, Humaira. Okay. Right. Okay. So, would you like to help? How Y'all two can read it together. Do we and Humaira, uh, please? Okay. Now, which 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 particular season am I talking about? Summer season. Summer season. Oh, very good. Right. Okay. Now, Muhammad and Yahya, could you read the next one, please? Muhammad and Yahya. Blanket of cold white flower hidden from the cold life waiting for spring. Um, winter season. Winter, 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 winter. Oh, fantastic. Okay, okay. Now moving ahead. Okay. You can have humorous haikus as well, you know. So I would want, you know, maybe Juvi and Aisha. So, Aisha. Or maybe we can have Aga and Aisha together. Mm -hmm. 
deepness and intensity it can be much much more and i'm hoping that each one of you will take poetry to a different level thank you so much uh, dawood sir i'm signing off uh, please take over all right thank you so much shavana ma'am and now a big round of applause for our haiku teacher oh thank you right so you all are poets today thank god haiku is not from japan uh, not from china <laughs> right so this was the first right session i hope you enjoyed it i hope i did and it's such a new fresh in approach to learning it so hopefully we will have lot of these session my right kids will see you again next week with your new session uh, assignment exciting can you do a haikus haikus how how many we have to write aisha, oh you, you can, can write, write how many you want aisha <laughs> she's such a darling right you should start writing one and then you can write as many as you want also any question you have for shabana ma'am or should we call a haiku ma'am for this week yes yes so any shabana question for haiku ma'am you have to put it on the nest and you you know what the movie name what you have to watch do not hesitate until today it's your question time and will you be able to send your questions by friday your answers by friday haikus yes no no i'm just expecting that would sir by Uh, say tonight itself because i know they are all very excited and charged up and brilliant you know i'm sure i'm going to have so many riddle haikus and numerous haikus from mohammed right okay so you already got haiku ma'am saying yes so tonight we haiku ma'am is expecting your all your haikus so let's get into it fantastic no, 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 you, you so have all week it's fantastic week. um next to any questions for your haiku ma'am Yeah, any questions? Go ahead, and you have the whole week for haiku. It's perfectly fine. Do we need to write in the syllables like five syllables and then seven syllables? Yes, actually, that is the traditional form of haiku. Though with the influence of Western right culture, it has changed a bit. But since we are going into the traditional Japanese way. we can start with that you know the five syllables first line the seven syllables second and the five again to the end thank you you're welcome sweetheart thank you thank you you're welcome any further questions So I guess that is it right. from everybody think, end. And that is it. Thank you so much, right. Shabana ma'am. It was really nice. Yeah, Don't you know that then the recording will be given to you. Let's get started. In Ramadan, we are starting a fresh batch, and I'll be explaining about it. Hopefully, like that, we'll do sessions every week, and you'll have enjoyment. You'll have a lot of learning. Yes. And uh, we have class next week, no? You want the class, or you don't want a class? Want. We oh. want. Wonderful! That's so nice, Aisha. I think she's speaking to you. No, if Muhammad says if he wants a class, then I'll believe it. We'll, we'll call Muhammad and check. But yes, we'll have classes from next week also. But like these, right? But do you realize you are learning something so important? I learned about haiku. You know, I never learned actually. Uh, I learned in my MBA. So thank you so much. It was a brilliant class. All the best to all of you, and see you again next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.